for tuning back into my channel. If you're new, welcome. It's all love, peace, and positivity over here. And if you're a returning watcher, welcome back. I missed you. <laughs> Where you been? But anyway, to this video. So, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be turning this old, raggedy, dusty looking wig into something more vibrant, more fall, aesthetic, vibey feels, you feel me? Uh, I would do red, but like, too many people doing red and I want to try something different. So I'm going to attempt, attempt, because I don't know if this is going to work out right. Um, I'm going to try to turn this wig into like a brown, honey blonde, gingery, more so on the brown side kind of color. Uh, this wig, I, I want to say this wig is from Dola Hair. It was initially a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig in 22 inches, but I've had this wig since like January, I think. And you know, I played in it, I cut it a bit. I'll insert some pictures that I have of me wearing the wig previously, but yeah, you know, I tried to cut layers into this wig. It was an epic fail, um, but yeah, this is like the only wig I have laying around that I don't mind doing stuff to it, so we're just going to use this wig. But yeah, I need to go wash it because the last time I took it off, I did not wash off any of the glue. So I got to wash the glue off the lace. I'm going to have to do a lot of work on this wig. Like, if you see the front, look at the front. Like, I don't know. I just don't like It's too much lace, in my opinion. I think it's too much. I need to... I might have to cut the lace, make a whole new hairline. <sighs> yeah, this this going to be a journey, but... I'm in it for the long haul. You guys are here with me, so it's gonna be all good. But yeah, let me go wash this wig because I don't got time for this. I just finished drinking coffee, so there's like a stain on my shirt. D -d don't look at that. But anyway, make sure you have your gloves handy. Make sure you have a mask. I'm wearing a mask because, you know, bleach, and I, I ain't trying to breathe that in right now. And make sure you have your mixing bowl and a brush. Three scoops of bleach. Then I'm gonna start pouring in the developer. And then we mix.
20 minutes later. So wake cap is on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and start to put this wig on. So basically, first things first is I use rubbing alcohol on a little cotton whatever, and I'm just gonna wipe it off, remove all the oils. Then I'm gonna put the Erica J um, skin adhesive, hold me down to protect my skin from the glue. After that, I'm gonna get a blow dryer, let it dry a bit. Um, then I just you, you know how it goes, you just watch it. So normally to, you know, glue the wig cap on my head, I use, you know, lace glue, but today I'm gonna try something different. I saw something on TikTok and actually I saw a whole bunch of videos on TikTok and a lot of people use the got to be spray. Where is mine? It's right here. So I'm going to use the got to be spray and see if, you know, I'm going to like that way better. Yeah. Okay, so I saw this YouTube video by Jasmine Destiny and basically she saw this, she like has this method where when you do the ball cap method, a way to make sure your hair in the back doesn't like, you know, come out because I be having that issue too, like, I mean, yeah, it's a good method. Just watch what I'm about to do. She cut it like this. the band like so and do the same thing on the other side so like this and then ow and then ooh, wait I need to get it straight make sure you have it straight and then you just Put it boom, just like that. So cute. Like, ah! I already cut off the excess lace from the cap. As you can see, see where the comb is, and you see the remaining lace. I cut off like maybe an inch of lace off. Well, let me just see. Alright, so based on how this is applying or how the wig is, I'm going to just make sure I cut as close to my hairline as I can get it because I really don't need the cap. I mean, I could do it that way if I really wanted to. I really could. So I'm just going to try my best to cut as close as I can to my hairline without getting, you know, super close because I can't wait my earphone went up because I can actually... And wear it like this. Like, yeah, I can wear it like that. I'm not worried about the fact that I don't have lace hair because I don't really put the glue over here because I just have sideburns and I have so much hair that I don't like shaving mine off. So I might, most likely I'm going to just use got to be to stick it on the side of there. But let's see this over here. Is this even in the middle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This should be good. Yep, it's good.
this is not how I do my wake up. I'm just trying something else. The glue is almost dried and we're going to go ahead and put this bad baby on. I only did two layers. I don't plan on keeping this wig on that long. I just, maybe like a week or so. But yeah, I'm actually going to put it on now. Twenty minutes later. 